So it's been a busy couple of days for South Korea's foreign minister at the ASEAN Regional Forum in the Philippines. Kang kyung hwa spent Monday sitting down with her counterparts from the United States and Japan. Given North Korea's recent missile provocations and the adoption of a tough new UN Security Council resolution against Pyongyang, the talks mostly centered on North Korea, but other issues were also on the table as well. Our Connie Kim files this report from Manila. The faces are new, but the differences remain. South Korea's Foreign Minister Kang kyung hwa and her Japanese counterpart Taro Kono are making their multilateral diplomacy debuts in Manila. But they couldn't make much headway on a key issue during their first sit-down. The talks merely served to highlight how far apart the two countries are on the issue of the 2015 agreement on Japan's wartime sexual slavery. There are difficult issues between the two countries, but I hope we can communicate frequently and cooperate by bringing our respective wisdom together to resolve issues. Kang explained to Minister Kono that a task force has been set up to review the agreement, a widely disliked deal in Korea that was sealed under the previous administration and without the consent of the victims. Kono has already stated that Tokyo has no intention of reopening talks on the issue. However, the two diplomats did see eye to eye on cooperating against North Korea's growing missile threats. Working together to rein in Pyongyang was also the main focus of the Seoul Washington Tokyo Foreign Ministers meeting. Kang Kono and U.S. Secretary of State Rex Tillerson agreed to focus their efforts on making sure all nations fully implement the newly adopted UN Security Council Resolution 2371 that bans exports of North Korean minerals and restricts a foreign investment. The resolution was adopted unanimously by the UN Security Council, including China and Russia. The resolution must be implemented by all members of the UN. The ASEAN Regional Forum also provided the setting for the foreign ministers of the two Koreas to exchange a few words. Their brief chat garnered a lot of attention since it was the first meeting between officials from the two Koreas under the Moon administration. North Korea's foreign minister Ri Yong-ho told Kang that Pyongyang thought Seoul's recent proposals for talks lacked sincerity because South Korea was still working with the U.S. to pressure the regime. And North Korea center stage at the ASEAN Regional Forum retreat, where regional security topped the agenda, while the ARF chair statement expected to be adopted as early as Tuesday will likely raise a strong voice against North Korea's continued provocations. Connie Kim, Arirang News, Manila.